How's it going guys? Welcome back to One Shot. I feel like I'm on such a roll. I just want to keep things going. I want to carry on. And first things first, I want to go back up top and, uh, okay. I guess it's weird. The button is still going to say ground, even though it's going to take me to somewhere other than ground. Seems like we should just have up and down buttons like a normal elevator would, you know? But I guess maybe that was a, a good hint to know what to make a button out of at least. Uh, we have no one to talk to to pass the time. But I want to go back up to the garden, and I want to use uh, the pill to help Maze. I want to I want to do that here right away, just to see what happens. Mm-hmm. Kind of kind of King of the Hill style there. I'm gonna rush on over. I feel like I'm so eager, so eager to to do my duty here. No one can stop me. I gotta get there. Wait, am I not in the right spot? Now I don't remember exactly how to get to that. Uh, I. I'm hopeful that it was all the way up to the side here. I'm in the wrong spot, aren't I? Because I, I didn't even go past that that guard. Uh, unless he left. Maybe he left once I had, I had passed him successfully once. But I feel like this whole area is the wrong spot. I need to go back uh, further north of all this stuff. Yes. I got overly eager and kind of kind of jumped the gun on that one. Here's where I need to head. Now, now we can do it. Guess it goes to show you, Russian's not always the, the, the best answer. In fact, rarely is it so. Water pill? We've given it dirt and water. Will that be enough? No, that's why I want you to put the pill in it. Really? Oh, do I need to like... Crap, I hope I wasn't supposed to have dissolved it in water. Oh, no. Crap, I wonder if I blocked myself from being able to do this at all. I don't think I can go back. And I haven't found anywhere else to fill up, like refill the vial. Shoot, I'm gonna be so disappointed if I totally ruined my chances there, that sucks. You know what I like to do when I'm feeling sad? Ride in a slow, moving, boring elevator. I'm in luck. That's exactly what I need to do next. What joy. Honestly, that sequence isn't isn't that long. It's not that painful to go through. What is going to be painful is maybe remembering where I have and haven't actually gone into. I think this open building, it might be one of the few spots I haven't checked out. Here's a crazy amount of water. That's bad luck that I came all the way upstairs and back down again. Hopefully you can give me some water, please, dude. Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh? I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Me too. Running water me, dude. It's a sink. Right, I can refill this tube with more water here. <gasps> this is awesome. Oh, I really didn't think I would get a second chance. So put the pill in the water? Yeah, it dissolved really fast. Medicated water. The water pills dissolved in it. Oh, I'm so pumped. It's a big fish tank. Also big. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for providing me like the, the one thing that I needed that I never thought I had any hope of getting back. Now I might have actually fully explored all of this area. Uh, I'll, do, I'll do a quick loop around kind of off camera to, to confirm that, but I think I've covered it all. Last thing I need to do now is go back up to the, the Kernel of Truth or whatever that card was calling it, the Sacred Kernel, the uh, the magic corn stock, and then then I can go to the library. Uh, then I will have put a nice little bow on things. And now because I talked through it, it gives you guys a better sense of how long that elevator sequence is, and it's, it's not bad. This time, this time we'll finally wrap this up. This has to be the last thing that this needs. One week worth of like hydration is really good for a plant. Uh, then hopefully someone will take over looking after it from there. But that first critical week there, we got that covered. Good thinking, Graham. This water should really help the seed grow. It's gonna grow right before our eyes. Yeah, it sprouted a tiny leaf. Good luck, little plant. I honestly don't know if there's anything else I can do for you. Oh, our entire vial's gone. So that was the main purpose for that on it, actually. There's, it was unlikely that it would be for anything non-optional, seeing as 
it was such an easy thing to miss in the main game there. So, yay? Maybe at the end of the game, I'll, I'll get some sort of word. Someone will be like, oh, by the way, Maze grew up. Or maybe I need to return there at some point. Or, like, I don't think there's anything else I can do to aid in it growing. So maybe I just get to feel a, a personal sense of accomplishment. I get to feel like a good guy for, for doing the right thing. This game seems to not have a ton of achievements, but it seems to highlight uh, times when you do a little bit extra like that. So I was a little bit surprised that at that stage it wasn't achievement worthy. So um, it makes me think there is going to be more to it maybe. Do you have anything else you want to report? Evening news, evening news. I'm not certain that it is evening. But my light sensors are not detecting daylight. I will assume it is evening. Do, do you have anything you want to say about it? It's just, oh, there, he did have something to say then. Disturbance was detected from the ground access elevator on Main Street. Whoever, however, the issue quickly resolved itself before investigations could take place. Well, your lucky I was there to take care of it. I'm so damn helpful. I thought maybe his evening news was just going to be that he didn't know whether or not it was evening. Not the most engrossing news, but kind of important. How's it going, everyone? Everyone enjoying all their books? Pile of books on the ground. Should get more shelves, maybe. Some sort of plaque. Uh, I don't know if I want to interact with literally every pile of books, but I want to see if... I want to see if one of them is different. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I, I will. Don't worry. Yep, still scared of ladders. <laughs> books are neatly placed. Great. Great for all these books. It seems like none of them are particularly exciting, are they? The author's book covers a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he does not write about. Quite the renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh. They say this city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Oh. I guess... Guess you might as well read up then? Or do you go out and enjoy the world for what it is now and read up after it's gone, you know? What? I, I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you are in the library. There are books in the library. Uh, go bug the chatty one upstairs. I'm sorry, dude. I wasn't trying to be rude or anything. A computer is currently off. Oh, hello. Do you need directions? Let's see. This area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs. And, uh... I'm not sure where the children's section is. Sorry. Oh, that's really demoralizing. It's okay. I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you here to look for the author then? No. Oh, that's good. Uh, I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months and I've never seen him. Not even once. He works together with the head librarian on publishing, so you think he would at least show up once in a while, but he doesn't? Like, is the author responsible for all of these books? Yeah, he seems kind of reclusive, which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe he's just around people? Maybe it's just around people. Oh, I thought I could sneak by you and go investigate more books. I haven't looked at nearly enough books yet, so I wanted to push past and and try and get my fill, my fill of books. I didn't go around here. Also off. And I'm gonna go ahead and guess, uh, guess all of these are placed neatly. Although some of them are like, clearly knocked over and leaning on each other and stuff, but I guess their spines are all outwards and it's neat enough. Hello, binocular head. The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow. It does sound pretty spectacular. Wish he would uh, be a little more helpful. Books are good and all, but uh, the world kind of needs a little bit more than that. Action! Action speaks louder than words. 
So suck on that, author, no matter how many words you have actually published. Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry. These are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Uh, how come? Because otherwise, they'll think I copied him. Him. The author. I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just going to write about the same thing and then everyone will love it. And nobody's going to remember the books that came out before his. Oh, um, I mean, I ain't hatin'. I can see where people go nuts over his stuff or why. I also where they tend to go nuts over it in the library is, is the where. That guy's got major talent. But it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I wonder if this is something, to some degree, if this developer kind of struggled with people being like, one shot is just like X game, or or if there's some other, you know, anything in their the developer's life that they'd worked on where people accuse them of just copying. Tends to be a pretty common major thing in any entertainment industries, movies, television, video games, books, anything like that. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time, even though I'm a person and cats are pets and mousers. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. <laughs> then I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. Uh, you got, you need to meet Robot, then we can really be in the same boat. That would be a nice switch up. Just more books. All the books. Is this a cushion that secretly is a book? Nah, nothing more to be seen around here. Placed books are neatly on the shelf. On the shelf are neatly placed books. Neatly placed books are on the shelf. On the shelf neatly are placed books. Jesus, is that the first set of shelves that was reworded like that? Because I think it was. And it threw me off big time. Books, placed books are on the shelf neatly. Books are on the shelf neatly placed. Oh, it totally randomizes it every time. That's... How would I not realize that before? I must have kept investigating them out of, or like, with time in between. Either that, or I just wasn't, I was just reading what I thought it said rather than what it actually was. That book is opening and closing itself. A big book with the black clover. A comprehensive guide to phosphors. Oh! I guess anything with the, the clover must be by the author. Except for that journal I have that's in a different language. I, I don't even know. As a general rule, if a phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy. Is that what I did to the light bulb? Is that what I did to the sun? No, probably not. But even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. A survey of phosphors found in the natural world. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff here. I guess... I, it, since it's the only book I can actually read, I guess I read it in case it has an important clue or something. Blue phosphor found in the Barrens. Out of the common phosphors, blue phosphor is of, moder is of moderate levels of energy. It can exist in both organic and mineral forms. The mineral form is most commonly found in the metallic sand of the Barrens. So, my theory about tree phosphor being, like, processed in the Barrens or whatever is not true. They're two different things. The organic form is most commonly found in phosphor shrimp and their secretions. Although the la light emission of blue phosphor is powerful, it has what I would describe as self-conserving properties. That is to say, the glow may not be constant. Most forms of blue phosphor will stop glowing if left undisturbed for long periods of time. If blue phosphor, if using blue phosphor to power machines, a motor should be set at a baseline level of activity to ensure constant agitation of the phosphor. Alternatively, live phosphor shrimp can be used. The green phosphor found in the glen. Out of the three common phosphors, green phosphor is the highest energy. It is also the rarest of the common phosphors, as it can only be found in organic form. Known sources include the sap of phosphor trees, fireflies, and various mosses. Although the phosphor is present in the ubiquitous ground-covering moss in the glen, it is only in minute amounts and almost impossible to concentrate. Green phosphor is ideal for industrial use. However, due to its relatively relative scarcity and past over-harvesting, there is currently no reliable source. Thankfully, at least locals 
of the Glen still have enough to get by. So you're not really marketing it out or anything, just doing what you can. And the red stuff from the refuge, which seems to be used very heavily, it's all in all your lanterns and all that stuff. Out of the common phosphors, the red phosphor is of the lowest energy. Hmm, curious. It, exclu it exists exclusively in mineral form and can only give light when in solution. The dilute red phosphor abundant in the city's water channels can be concentrated and induced with currents. So that's why all the water is weird, gross, red-looking colors. This can create an artificial high-energy state with greater luminosity. So you kind of, if you filter it out, you kind of get two for one. You get fresh water and you get nice glowing phosphor. One major caveat is that the phosphor in this super-saturated solution will precipitate out rather quickly. As soon as the phosphor recrystallizes, it loses its glow permanently. If using super-saturated red phosphor as a power source, make sure there is a proper facilities or services that can replace it frequently. So that guy's job, he has some serious job security there, needing to constantly top that up and make sure it's in order. The author's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? Yeah, they're big compendiums. You'll see them if you look around. Kind of different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels, mostly. What do you think, mug girl? Why do I think it's a girl? It might be a boy, I don't know. So what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. Yeah, but where do you start? You know, when, when you ask someone, when you say your favorite author is blank, and you're like, oh, where, what should I read? Maybe you tell them to read book one in a series. Maybe there's no series, and you tell them to just read whatever would be of most interest to you. When one author has written every book in the entire world, it's hard to ask where to start. A green marker. A marker eraser. Also looks like there's maybe a blue marker and a red. A marker drawing of a clover. Well, exhilarating stuff. What about this? What about this list or whatever? It looks like a list of book titles written here, but not something we're gonna investigate. Oh, weird. Why did I keep thinking that it looked like the book was kind of opening a little bit? This is just something else that we can actually read. A big book with a black clover. The title says, Emergence of New Ecological Niches in a Post-Sun World. Ooh. I like these little doodles of these critters. Phosphor shrimp, also known as seed shrimp in certain vernaculars due to the shape of the transparent coat. These aquatic invertebrates are the most abundant life form in the ocean surrounding the barrens. We're getting a lot of really cool world building here. They have dorsal phosphor glands, and they're only about a half centimeter long. The abdominal phosphor organ of the common firefly. Did they, earlier, someone was saying something about uh, how wheat fields go on for miles, but they measure bugs in centimeters. Interesting mismatch. Although this world could be all metric, and, and Nigo's world could be imperial. A nocturnal beetle with a vibrant glow, sometimes captured in mass and put in jars to be used as living lamps by the Glen's residents. This is inspired. This has inspired the now common practice of using phosphor shrimps to do the same. That's all we have to say about that, I guess. Pretty, pretty quick summary. The author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost any human pace. Maybe he's literally a robot. That's my theory. In fact. He has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written but not yet published. One cannot help but to wonder where he can get so much done in, in so little time. I did the calculations and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? No, I just saw it in a movie once about superheroes and stuff. It was a, a sound theory, Nico. You really thought it through. You're going through these pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh, yeah. The author doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. N neat. Not unheard out of. Quite neat. Sounds, sounds like my speed. Sounds like what I would enjoy if I was gonna try and digest the maximum amount of information? Excuse me. Oh, you are the messiah. Oh wait, this robot 
is like has glasses and like a bow. Maybe that's a. It looked like a bow tie, but maybe it's just the top of a symbol on his chest or something. It seems like there's a lot of personality here, yet he still yells at you like an untamed robot. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big rob robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said that there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Was it George or was it Georgie or something? I don't think I've ever known a George, female George before. My middle name is George. My great grandpa's name was George. About the only Georges I've ever known have been men. Okay, seriously, how long are we gonna ride this out? Maybe just call it. Maybe I'll just go looking for him. That's enough. Maybe just leave a message. <laughs> she is not picking up. Is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she's concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes. Can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Uh, of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha. Thanks. Seems like there's a last little bit to investigate here. I might as well check it all out and see what there is to ascertain, if anything. Coffee's for grown-ups. Maybe just a sip. But be careful, it'll stunt your growth. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though, and you made no mention of it whatsoever before. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Oh, please. No. <laughs> this is painful. Please release me from this torment. Just hang up. It's not going to happen. She's not going to answer. How, how long will you torture me here? I, you're just trying to be a good secretary. You're just trying to do your job, trying to be helpful. But let's just let's just abandon this. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. Ugh, even in an emergency, my programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. Ugh, well, maybe it's time we start taming you. Break you like a wild stallion. And, and see if we can get free beyond that. Alrighty then, you better be helpful. You're the last person left. I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. Uh, but I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. I, I'm sorry, I cannot help you with any of this. Here seems like it would... Ah, uh, now where the hell would I get a library card? I need to... Uh, I'm, I'm getting distracted. I need to take a photo with the giant camera. But I need to find out the order to put the lenses in. Is there another book anywhere in here that's lighting up to be read that I haven't read? Because it seems like it would be a great location to learn things in. And I have a specific thing I'm attempting to learn, so... If anyone in this room has any suggestions... Well, crap, now I'm... Now I'm gonna be stuck, uh... Re-running around... To try and find out where... I have and haven't gone. I, I feel like there's somewhere... Around the city that I probably skipped out on. This I know that I've done, but I'll, I'll zigzag through here at the very least and see. Oh, maybe I didn't go to the left here? There's like this particular bridge that cuts across the water that I might not have gone through? What is, what is this area? Where am I right now? This does seem new and different. It's kind of like a, a mirror image of what I was seeing over at the library itself. All right, let's go into the main one first. Oh wait, this is definitely new. Uh, let's see, what do, what do you what do you need help, what do you need a hand with? In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The, huh? 
You must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. Um, so, like, this is the start of the puzzle? Four, there's one, two, three, four different colors. Uh, a hint, perhaps? Um, how do I solve this? That is part of the test. Bummer. Uh, they match red, blue, and green match the different phosphoruses. The yellow means nothing. Uh, any hints over here? The luminescence index of liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57 this past week. Alarming, to say the least. That's the sharpest decline I've seen, and the number is only increasing. The amount that it's decreasing is increasing, which is kind of confusing. We'll have to further concentrate the phosphor now. For it to be of any use. Interesting. This has to do with, like, the energy reigniting other phosphors and stuff and how, like, if you let the red one go out, then it permanently is inert. And I guess they have to do a lot of work to keep the concentrations high and keep things running. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance this city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we going to do? That is troubling. But more time than I kind of thought you guys had, honestly. A bunch of words are on the screen. I don't understand any of it. Hmm, this does not seem to be a proper hint. If the city runs out of light, well, I don't want to think about what happens then. Ah, nuts. Alright, so I've definitely already been to that room. This one, this one better have the hints I need. Beep boop! This is the printer room where machine parts are made. Also robots. It may help you to go one color at a time. Okay, so I'm going to start getting some hints here at least. It's a big metal box with lots of machinery inside. This one has a robot in it. It's a big, uh, complicated machinery with no robot. It can also help to write down previous attempts. Oh, do I have to brute force it? If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Oh, so the puzzle's random. Uh, but, like, you don't just need it to be all one color, right? That seems like it would be goofy. And I think this works out, like, it, there's got to be more to go off of. Because if it's entirely trial and error, there's four options here, then four here, that's 16, then it goes up to 64, then it's going to go up to, like, several hundred, then, like, several thousand or whatever. Like, two lights correct. Oh, Nine tries left. Oh, shit. Okay. Um. Okay. This is going to get interesting. I thought that that was a reset switch or something. All right. Um. I guess I'm busting out a piece of paper here to write this down. So I'm just going to write down that I had five blues to begin with. This is, this might take a, take a while. It's stressful. It's stressful that I don't have, uh, infinite attempts at it either. Zero lights correct, so uh, now I know there's no green whatsoever. Oh wait, so I, I know there's two blue and two red. That gives me a lot to go off of, honestly. And if I know there's no greens, then I can kind of mess around with it like this. So zero, so I know I have to change both of those. So that's useful. One is correct. All right, so now I know this one is red. Right? I guess that one, I, I, yeah. One is correct. All right, so reset this guy once more like that. I can do this. I can do this. Three are correct. All right, so I know you are also blue, and I know one of these two is yellow, and one of them is blue. Five lights correct. Okay, that was nowhere near as hard as I thought it was going to be. I didn't know that I had something to go off of like that. That was awesome. I feel like I aced it. I wonder if you got a hard one, though, that made use of all four colors, or if it always excludes one color, because that gave me a lot to work with, honestly. Access granted out of my way. 
I deserve to be here. Oh no, look, he's panicking. His robot friend's getting sucked into an anomaly. My robot! What happened? I don't know, I left for a minute and... It, you can kind of see right in front of you. What am I gonna do? Oh, poor robot. Please, do not approach. Ah oh, man, same as that other guy. I, this, I just don't think there's anything we can do. I'm sorry. I feel sorry for your poor little robot. Oh man, more more layers of this weird science tower to go through. All right, then I'll go through the middle yet again. Hello, science nerds. Ooh, tin can. I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. None of the, none of us has been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week and she fell asleep. Oh, that poor woman. Just falling asleep standing. That's how you know things are getting bad. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Probably milking it out of out of phosphorus. That would be my guess. It's a shelf full of little machine parts and tools I don't recognize. Similar arrangement going on here. No no puzzle to access that one that I'm, I'm going to explore a little first. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. I'm picking up some disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. Sector 8. This is, a consistent, this is consistent with earlier findings and not good at all. These square particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. We might have to put off the water analysis project for now. Oh, those poor robot sampling robots. They're not going to have anything to do. Did I say robot water sampling robots? They're, they're, they're going to be so bored. Monitoring, monitoring. I wonder if I double interact. Nope, still just doing that. These, these guys are these guys are real focused on their work in this room here. I'll maybe just leave them to it. Just kind of giving a sense of how dire things are for this world. A robot. These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs or head. Okay. That sounds awful. Boop. We are waiting to be repaired. Oh, you poor little robots. I thought I could sneak back in the back row and find something cool. You look like uh, you're possessed by some sort of goat demon. I cannot stop spinning. Oh, the poor spinning robot. This guy's cute. He's just shaking hands. Oh, maybe his hand is ripping off. That might be less cute. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. Now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV? Oof. What does that have to do with anything? Never mind. I don't know what to make of the weird, crazy appliance and inanimate object-headed people. It's very peculiar. Hello? Ooh, I see an important glow on your shelf. Oh, shoot. If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the darn lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Graham helped me solve it. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm a genius. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? <laughs> Weird question to ask, but yeah, it's kind of important. A library card. You'll have to ask the library for that. Would I have known to ask her for this if I hadn't already gone and done... Like, did I just happen to do that in the right order? Kind of seems like it. I tried. I need to see the... I need to see the head librarian, but I can't see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? Hmm. Sounds like George, all right. I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Uh, well, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Oh, wait. Shoot. I forgot. The front desk library bots have facial recognition. And my photo on the card won't match you. 
Unless I tape a photo of my of my face to your face. Mm, probably easier to tape a picture of my face to your card. Uh, that was a joke. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway? Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. I'd figured that out forever ago. Although trying to trying to trick the the robot seems like it would be a funny thing to try. I'd, I'd rather just do it normally. So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. Do you get really tired sometimes? Kinda. But I don't mind. It's actually really pretty. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like with the sun? Oh. Um... You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I've actually seen. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world, and I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right. I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Probably the author. Everyone's always bragging about the author. The author this, the author that. Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really doesn't want to build robots. Or more specifically, coding them. How come? Oh, beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Married a robot? Or maybe he's part cyborg or something. It's weird to be part cyborg. <laughs> I think cyborgs are always part robot. To be part cyborg would be something else entirely. Ah, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now. Yeah, seems like you guys had a little something special going on. Something's poking out from the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of them. I hope you're just making all sorts of glittery robots all over the place. That sounds fun. Uh, I don't know what the hell I can do with glitter, though. I can... Make my shirt a lot more fun. Kip. Nice to meet you, Kip. Kip Silverpoint, PhD. There we go. Now I know who it is. The card is covered in glue and glitter. Good thing I did that. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I'm going to need uh, the photo now, too. The glitter seemed excessive. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Your journey is just as important as your end goal. Cliche, but true. Will you take care of yourself, too? That's not just a one-way thing. Hey, Graham. Doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. Oh, um... What the hell was her name? She was like the lead something. Was her name Silver? It was just Silver, wasn't it? Now we have Dr. Silver Point. I almost wanted to ask her about it. Ooh, maybe she made like a robot stand-in for herself. Should I? Yeah, let's ask about that. I am super curious. Your journey is important as your end, cliche. Ah, oh, maybe she's not willing to share. Dang it. And I have yet to figure out what order these lenses are going to go in. Shoot. All right, I got most of what I need here. I'm going to head back to the camera. It seems like quite often the solution to something in this game is near the problem. I don't think that's been a 100% consistent rule, but it's at least something. So I'm going to try and head back towards the camera. What's up? What, can you guys be more helpful, maybe? This is going to help so many people. And also make me rich and famous and cool. S smells like burnt sugar. Oh, uh, bad news doesn't work. Hey, after operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All of the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Oh. Okay, I was kind of ignoring the text because nothing the vendors were saying was interesting and I was kind of skipping through it here. So all of these vendors are engineers who might know how this works? 
Maybe Graham and I can figure it out from them. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs, like me. Okay, so do I need to show you the lens or will you just help? You used to be one of the camera engineers, right? A camera? Oh, joyous memories. We went through thick and thin together. Hmm. So, do I need to start thinking like thin comes after thick? And by that I mean the concave lens did. <laughs> okay, that's confusing as all hell. Can you tell me how to fix the camera? Hmm, it's been a while. I'm pretty sure that the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. So, concave, did you say? Which did you say? Uh, the con. Jesus. Concave. Concave. So, convex, then concave? I think I know that that one goes on the end at least. Hopefully you guys can be more helpful. Is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? Let me see. When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is pos positioned between the two curved ones. Okay. So that is possibly enough to go off of. Because then I need thin, the remaining concave one, and then that literally just leaves the thick one. I'm curious if there's one more vendor. I don't remember, but I'm going to double check and see. Can you tell me how to get the camera working? Yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both of the curved lenses. Oh, dang it. So I do have that wrong then. Uh, it should be on the, the, far, the far side. So the thick needs to go in the far end here and everything else needs to be shifted over. Didn't you say something about that one being first, though? It's been a while. I'm pretty sure that the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends. Oh, my goodness. I completely... That's totally where I got things mixed up big time. All right. You two are switching spots. Oh, that's convenient that it lets me do it that way. And then you two are switching around. And that might do it. Boom! Crushed it. I, I'm a genius. Didn't even need to write that one down. Uh, I, I was worried I was going to have to pull them all out of the camera and then reinsert them and everything. So letting you swap like that was handy. Uh, cheese? Maybe you should put the light bulb down. It probably creates a weird glow on your picture. Ouch. My eyes. Yoink. It's a photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? <laughs> yes, I would say yes. Graham and I fixed the camera. Ah, sweet. <laughs> no thank you or anything? Just dope. Sounds cool. Photo of Nico? Not a cat. Smack those two together. Library card from Kip. Nico's own photo is glued on. Perfect. And next time then, we're going to go uh, read more books. Haven't done enough book learning in this game yet so time to time to commit even harder to that and just really really soak up the knowledge <laughs> thanks for watching guys i will see you again soon